This is the plaintiff, Mark Bloom. He says the defendant was a friend of his, and she contracted him to be her cinematographer for a 20-minute comedy project she wanted him to film for her. Unfortunately, the woman knows nothing about the business. He worked like a dog for her, and she owes him $2,500, which she refuses to pay. He tried to be a good guy to the defendant. He did an awesome job for her, and he deserves to be paid and is suing her here and now. This is the defendant, Lorraine Vazella. She says she produced, directed, and wrote an indie short film, and the plaintiff volunteered to work on it. She promised to provide food, but never promised to pay anyone anything. The plaintiff became upset when he found out she gave someone some gas money. He became crazy, sexually insulting, and she certainly doesn't owe the plaintiff a penny. She's accused of having creative differences. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated. Come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Mark in. Bloom, you are suing Lorraine Vozella for $2,500 that you believe she owes you for work that you did that she didn't pay you for. Tell me what happened. Your Honor, on about a year and a half ago, uh, Ms. Vozella came to me with an idea for a project, um, just a basic outline of what, what she was. What was your idea? Um, it's called Serial Dates with a C. It was a comedy about dating based on true stories. Um, I'm, I'm a writer, um, a mother. Um, I compilated, I do stand up comedy now and everything. Um, and it was based on that. My, my script is uh, registered with the screen, the Writers Guild. Um, okay. So you end up hiring him to do what? I didn't hire him. I asked him on Facebook if he'd like to volunteer on my project, and he was very excited about it. Okay, does anybody have the actual Facebook, uh, did you say Facebook? Yes. Facebook posts? No, ma'am, but I do have okay. six pages of testimony, texts, that I'd like to give you. Between the two of you? Yes, ma'am. I like to see it on a telephone. That way, it's not just what you chose to give me, it's everything that puts it in context. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Were you supposed to be paid from the beginning? Like, was it always we, an agreement? We agreed on $500, of which I... Do you I, have a contract? We had a verbal contract. That she's and, denying existed. And in this That's where a written one comes in handy. Well, in this, in this six okay. pages of text, she agrees she owes me the money. She says she'll come and see the video so she can see any adjustments that need to be made to the editing that I did. Because I not only acted as cinematographer, I was lighting designer, editor, colorist, post-production sound design. Location manager. I graduated from Emerson with a bachelor's degree in television and film. So why are you doing this for 500 bucks? She was a friend. I thought it would a be... A friend? I thought you no, guys no, no, met no. He's doing a... it for free, Your Honor. Through free. I know that your version is he's doing it for free. We'll get to the bottom of that in a second. My question is, I thought you two didn't know each other before this. No. We became friends. I know, through, but you agree to through, do it at a certain price before you become friends, right? Because the agreement... Through Facebook. Right. The, right. You, absolutely. So you, that's not... You didn't do it because you were friends. You didn't know her. Well, I did it for $500 because we became friends through Facebook. Okay. And I uh, figured, okay, she's What are you, stuck. 10? I mean, is this your line of business, or is this, is this what you do for a living, or yeah. this is what you do as a hobby? This is what I do for a living. And I figured, because she was just starting out, it was a 20-minute short that she was shooting to submit to film festivals. I figured it wasn't going to take a lot of time, effort, okay. or energy on have my part. Have you got the, the text in your phone? I just have to scroll back to that. Thank you. Do you want to print out as well of those texts, which lists her phone number, and I did highlight for you, Judge. Hand that to my bailiff. When did you guys start working on this? Um, I put a post back in August, I believe, and I was saying that I was looking for volunteers for the project, and I never talked about any kind of money. Um, I started filming in September, October, November. Christmas came, you know, November comes the holidays. So I took some time off because family and friends and so forth. So after the holidays, I tried to reconnect with him to start, fill, you know, get the project back because we were having all kinds of issues and so forth. That's when he 
all of a sudden on the phone, he wanted to cr like create my project. Started offering his creative um, this, that, the other thing. I said, this is my project. I said, can you just release my film? So then all of a sudden the phone conversations from him, because he was creepy, all of a sudden said, said, I have my lawyer on the line, I'll call you back. So I text him, I said, listen, I just need my film at this point. Going back and forth with you, these crazy stories, lawyer, this was supposed to be fun. What crazy stories? Just like, he's won money from me. This was supposed to be like volunteer. Nobody exchanged money. It wasn't about money. It's about food copy and credit to promote my friends who worked hard to be part of my production and they saw the vision of my creativity to make this and put it into independent film. This guy started making up all kinds of crazy stories trying to extort money from me and he says this is his career. He's disabled. He's not supposed to make a lot of money. He started telling me stories about how he drives for a pizza place and gets cash. And he's a fraud. A big time fraud. Excuse me. And he's Did trying you to end up getting the film or no? He didn't give it to all of me. No, no, not no, all of it. Did he give you parts of it? Parts of it he did, yeah. And does he represent that he gave you all of it? Yes, he does. And you represent that there's stuff missing? Yes. Okay, I've now gone through on your sheet where you have, where stuff is typed with no dates and no time. I am doing nothing till I have $500 cash in hand. I will sit on your tape. I need to move on. I need to make some money. So work on, get, on getting yourself together, then call. Yeah, that sounds like a, a, tr a contract between two people before the work. This is after the fact. This proves nothing. Then, that's actually kind of... Creepy. Ransom. Yeah. Okay. Then, she says to you, please, there wasn't an agreement about any money. It was a voluntary. Matter of fact, you have false allegations and will not hold up in court. Blah, 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 and you cannot record me without my consent. I know the law. I'm going to call Seven News Investigation. I'm done with you trying to extort me. Okay, this is your evidence of a, of a contract between you two? And then your answer, are you on your meds again? Are you off your meds again? <laughs> you say to him, off and don't contact me, whack job. He says, whack job, look in the mirror. You answer, what are you guys, like 10 years old? I, I, honest to God. It, I have, and I look pretty damn great. Yes, sorry, I make money off my looks. You messed with the wrong woman. What are you saying? You're a prostitute? Uh, I guess I'm guilty of feeding into the BS. What are you saying here? You're a pro Look, it's very simple. I already have several messages where you have said you will pay me. I already have several messages from you where you say you put a check in the mail. Can you show me those messages? No, Your Honor, but I can show you the checks that she stopped payment on. Yeah, you keep let's referring see that. Let's see that. Phone text messages. It was instant messaging on the computer, Your Honor. Great. Okay, so let's see the check that she sent you. Did you send him a check? Well, I wanted to get my film, and I didn't want to go to his house. I was scared. I thought he was going to, like... So what did you do? You sent him a check, and then you stopped payment on it? Because I never got my stuff. Yeah, but you can't do that. That's a separate action. I never got it, so why should I pay for it? What is it that you expected to get that you didn't All get? All my taping that he, t he volunteered his time for, everything. I never received, I got bits and pieces. It wasn't the whole thing. Listen, I'm liable. No, here. no, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not interested in, in sidetracking with your opinion. I want to know, what did you convey to her? I conveyed to her $500 was agreed upon, of which... No, it wasn't. I see it wasn't. What you did was you held it for ransom, but okay, she wrote a check. $250 would be paid to me as partial payment. Okay. She would receive the... Rem I would receive, rather, the remainder of the money upon completion of the project. So she sent you the 250 and then how is the project going to be completed for you to receive the remainder of the... She was Stop. To she was to come and view all the footage that I have shot, which I have two DVDs, of which the crowdfunding, one of six takes, is loaded into the computer right now, Your Honor. I, I, you guys, can you just answer what I'm asking you? Yes, what sure. was left to do? Um, final editing and okay. colorization. All right, and did you do it? I did not. Why not? Because she stopped payment on the check. Okay. I had completed some of the scenes with color and editing and sound, Okay. Now, according to you, you only wrote this check to be able to get the raw footage that he had. Yeah. I just want my tape. I don't care if I have to pay for it. I have to pay for the film. Give him the money. I just want that back. That's valuable. My friends did Well, but if that's the case, then why did you stop payment on because this Because he never gave it to me at that time. What he day said did you stop payment? Probably. I don't know, actually. Do you have the proof of when you stopped payment? I don't. Do you not have the proof me. of when she stopped I, payment? I don't yes, with Your me. Honor. Yeah. This guy tortured me. Like, it was, like, ridiculous. Like, I can't even believe that. I'm embarrassed that I tried to work with him. I really am embarrassed. 
On March 25th, you text him, I can meet up with you Sunday to give you half the money, then I can come meet you to work on the film editing Monday. And then a little bit after that, you say, I need to go forward ASAP, please. Yeah. And then he responds, okay, Sunday, he's unavailable. So you respond, listen, now that I think about it, I need to have a disc of my filming before I give you any money. I need to see my production, so please have it in hand or email me my filming. Thank you. He says, like I said, I'm working all weekend. I have yet to print a DVD because I didn't know what, was do what I was doing with the footage. But like you said, you were going to come over on Monday and look at everything. So you can hold the money until Monday. I'm sorry you don't trust me, but of course, considering the amount of men that have screwed you over, to no one do you have trust issues with them. Okay, that sounds like a plan. I agree about the trust issues. See you Monday. Okay, hon. Mm. So Monday comes. And he gives you his address. You say in an hour. He says, okay, sounds good. What happened that Monday? Well, I wasn't going to go there alone, that's for sure. So I had a friend of mine who's going to come with me, advised me not to go at all, that didn't want to come with me. I didn't want to go alone, and I didn't. I had a couple of friends that were going to come, and then they said they couldn't go. So that's what happened. So if there's, if I'm to believe that there's no agreement on money before this, then why in March am I seeing you write a $250 check? I agreed because after the fact, it was originally supposed to be for free. Then after that initial co conversation on the phone where he said, started wanted to change everything. I said, you know what, just release whatever you have and I'll give you the money. I agree. I agreed to give him the money, yeah. So after then the why fact. am I here? If you agreed to give him the $500, you say, oh, the reason we're here, Judge, is because he didn't give me what I wanted. But I'm reading all the texts where you didn't go and work on it so that he could... He but could... that wasn't the agreement for me to go and work. Yeah, but you're not saying I don't want you to work on it. Just give it to me and I'll pay you the $500. What happens is you cancel payment on this check and you never give him a $500. No, so why are you surprised that you didn't say... It wasn't even $500. It... What the bottom line Where's is... Where's the stuff right now? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, uh, if somebody makes uh, a deal, but it's vague, and it's like, hey, I'll mow your lawn or whatever, but I don't set, set the price, and I mow your lawn, and then I say I want to get paid, and you say you never made a deal. Do, do I have a right to get paid? Well, you have a right to get paid. How much? Depends on the size of the lawn that's mowed. Yeah, but so, what, the judge is going to make the contract that I didn't make? Yeah. Is that right? No. I think that they should have got a price in advance. They should have, but he, they didn't. So now the question is, does the guy get money? I think he gets something. What does he get? Reasonable? What does he get? A reasonable amount for the job that was performed. So the, the guy has to pay reasonable when it may have been that he wouldn't have paid that in the first place. Well, then the judge has to decide that. That's, that's going to happen right now, going inside the courtroom. Your Honor, sitting right here in this computer is everything that I taped, Your Honor. All right. 500 that you're suing for is pain and suffering. Um, there's no pain and suffering on a contracts case. And then work performed because you feel that it's worth more. No, All right. ma'am. Here's what's going to happen. Um, wow. I don't even get to talk. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I haven't said anything, Your Honor. She's been doing all the talking. Are you kidding me? No, ma'am. I'm not. You're out of your mind. I'm ruling in your favor on the $500. I believe that this is a $500 case. You're going to hand her all of that document. So she, what she proved was a 250. I know the 250. You see? So you assume that I'm not listening. I'm listening very clearly. Let me tell you exactly what happened in this case. All right? And with all due respect to you creative types, I see this all the time. Everybody talks either verbally. Sometimes I get lucky and there's a text. But nobody knows exactly what they're expecting from the other person. I can't see an iota of evidence that before the job started, you agree. She agreed to pay you $500. But she does admit that at one point she did agree to pay you the $500. So we're past that. I also know from the evidence of this check that she wrote $250. So you say to him, and it's very clear to me from these texts, what you say to him is, this is your new agreement, $250. And then you will work on it with him and he'll get the other 250 when he's done editing according to your, which means that there's a $500 agreement. Now, if you decide, God bless you, you're free and American, you go ahead and decide it. I think he's a weirdo. 
I don't want to go to his apartment. I'm afraid of what might happen. So I don't feel like, oh, that's fine. But that's you changing the terms. That is not him changing the terms. So bonus for you. You don't even have to edit it. And you're still going to get the $500. Oh, happy day. We, before you leave this courthouse, I'm going to have you look at that footage because I don't want there to be any other question about any footage missing. Okay? So, you're so willing to pay him the $500, that's what's going to happen. Verdict for the plaintiff on the $500, and you get all of their footage, which is what it is that should have happened. Okay? That's it. So, the judge finally determines that the defendant did agree to pay $500 to the plaintiff. What do you think? I don't think I should have paid him anything. Well, it's all right, but you apparently did agree because you admitted it in court. I think it stinks because I don't think, I think he's a creep and think anything he does is terrible. Best. You're hoping for the best. Yeah. Well, she's kind of blind to it, obviously. Yeah. You don't know whether There's it's good or bad at this point. These no <laughs> question about that. I think emotions are ruling. <laughs> Sorry about it. That's the judge's verdict. Now, you can go back and look at this footage. Sure. Okay? Good luck. Hope you like it. Thank you. Okay? It's right back there. Okay. Or will be back there in no a few minutes. Was... Now, here comes Mr. Bloom. Boy, you almost talked yourself out of a win. She was about to decide for you until you interrupted her. Do you know that? Um, I understand that. Okay. Let me ask you this. All the footage that's there, now it, she can look at it? It's there. It's edited. There's sound work. And that's why I was asking for the amount of money, because that's what it's worth. Well, you didn't have an agreement for that much. You didn't have a $2,500 agreement. So it may be worth it, but you didn't make that deal with her, so you don't get it. But you're going to get 500 so you should be smiling. Yeah, as long as she doesn't use it. Well, who knows? Because if she does, I have to get credit for it because it's my cinematography. Well, she may put your it's name my, on it. It's my lighting. Okay. It's my sound production. And if I don't, we'll probably You'll be, be seeing we'll good be seeing the judge again. Okay, let's see. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Harvey, fascinating case. Okay, Doug. Uh, look, she may have gotten the job for free, but the fact is, she ratified the deal by saying she'd pay.